hello friends today in this video we will learn how to make a title box on the given sheet like that by using the bis rule friends before making the title box we should know the following parameters like that which type of pencil we should use h hb 2h and 2hb when make when we make our title box on the drawing sheet and the next question is that it is necessary to make a title box on the drawing sheet what happened if you if we not make a title box on our drawing sheet next is that what is the importance of title box on the sheet it means that the title box gives which type of information so that it is necessary to make the title box on the sheet and next is what is the scale a scale means that here what we learn what we write 1 by 1 1 by 2 or 1 by 3 next is that what is the symbol represents on the title box here what is the meaning of this symbol in the title box next is that why we take a borderline borderline means that here the part why we should the board take a borderline so friends please subscribe my channel now friends further we will discuss what the importance of the first question is that which type of pencil we should use so friends we can use either 2h pencil or hb pencil because hb and 2h pencil or may you may use h pencil according to our necessary because this types of pencil gives a thick darkness when you write the title box it should be that the title box should be clear and should be easily visible so we should make a title box with the help of hb pencil 2h or h we can use any pencil among them next that it is necessary yes it is necessary to make a title box on the drawing sheet because the title box gives the information about the person who had made the drawing sheet about the title book about the sheet on which subject the sheet is given or what's the theme of the sheet what is the date of the sheet now here what's the skill represents 1-1 1-2 1-3 which we write on the given sheet it means that if you draw the object as it is its original length then we we'll write 1-1 one one. and if the size of the object is larger and which cannot be accommodated on our sheet then we reduce the scale then if it is the 80 cm then we reduce it to the 40 cm and if it is 20 cm then we reduce to it to the 10 cm it means that the original length is reduced to its half so if it is as it is the original length then we will write 1 dash 1 and if we reduce its half then we write 1 by 2 and if you further reduce it to the 1 by 3 this means that's 80 by 3 that it will come to about 16 26 point something that that 40 by 80 then we did 1 dash 3 next is that now next is the symbol what the symbol represents the given symbol represents that it is the first angle projection and it is the third angle projection and what's the meaning of first angle projection and the third angle projection we will take this on our orthography projection and the isometric projection where we will the front view top view side view of an object then friends we will discuss this type of symbol and topic on the further chapter and why why we take a border line then like that it is to be the taken necessary because that if if you use the seat then it may be fold up from the sides from the corner as it is here it will be folded up when we pinch here so 
the title box is not broken or the title box is not disturbed so we'll take a border line so that our title box is fresh and clear now from left it starts we are going to draw the title box here friends this title box is the is according to the bis rule but the title box which i am going to drawing is used in the engineering drawing our school and the colleges now friends let's start now friends before drawing the title box first of all we will take we will consider a border line of about 10 we will leave at this box according to our needs if you have the if you have just only a branch like the mechanical branch civil branch then we just only mention the branch but if you have the section like section a and section b then we should also mention the date in which date the given title box is made is also mentioned that roll number and the name should be mentioned so we divide this box according to our needs Here friends we divide this given box in the 7 boxes Now we will take a 20 mm One thing we should mention be careful that the title box should be drawing on the bottom of the right hand if we the whole sheet then we will draw the title box on the bottom of the right hand right hand now friends we will take it is the given length is of 25 mm in which in which we write the scale that represents that is the given sheet is drawn according to the original length which is given or the original length reduced to its half or the original length is reduced to its one third and in which we will represent the symbol like that which represents that the given either the given sheet is in first angular projection or the sheet is in the third angular projection and here friends we will mention the title the title that the on which topic that the given sheet is drawn the title represents that what's the topic of the sheet now friends in this we will in which we will write the roll number here we will write the name here we will write the branch what's the branch if the if we also have the section like section a and section b then we should also mention and next the seat what's the number of seat is it is the first seat first number seat second number seat third number seat next is the date on which date the given city is drawn and here we will checked which means that the given city checked in the scale one by one or next it is the very important parts of the title was that in which projection first angle projection or the third angle projection should be mentioned
after drawing the title box some precautions should be taken that the corner the corner should be proper it should be not like that above and below here this portion it is not that the given line should comes out of the given line it should be proper and the angle should be 90 degree at each corner the angle should be 90 degree and should be like that it is right it is right but it is wrong and it is wrong and now what's the need what the importance of when we draw the border line here what we see here that the portion after drawing the ship it is like that here it is a it is fold up it is sometimes it is a fold up or it is here torn away so we will take a border line so that the uh, title box included upper the given seat should be proper and after all we will make it dimensioning be careful that the dimensions here this line the outer line should be dark and the its line the inner line should be lighter than the outer line and the dimension should be also lighter than the this line as the title box is this line should be dark and this line should be lighter than that line because this line is the dimension line like that It should be 65. Be careful that we write the 65 like that, not like that. Because we will follow the line system, not any direction system, which we'll discuss in the next lecture or in the further lecture. It should be 130. And we will make the arrow like that. Here in this box we will write our college name, a school name and whatever in which if you read in the college then mention the college name. If you read in a, a school then please mention the school name. Now friends the word title box is completed okay friends thank you and best of luck